Righto. So today's mission. This uh, hot tap drips all the time for some reason. I don't actually know anything about plumbing. I don't, I don't want to learn either. But uh, we're just going to have a look. And what happened last time? The tap got really hard to turn off. The shower head blocked, so I pulled it apart and it had a little bit of black plastic stuck in the screen here, um, which I'm guessing is the sort of uh, the plastic thing that retains this plate here. I'm assuming it's collapsed and now it's interfering with the tap, but I don't know. I actually don't remember how to pull it off either, so I'm just going to find out, possibly using tools of some sort. So that comes off that way. And that comes off. And I think you just gotta spin this base plate off now, which I fucking punted on with shitloads of silicon, so it's not gonna wanna move. So I think I'm gonna get it with a rag and vice scripts or like channel locks and go. Because uh, so I think it's threaded onto the plastic insert and it's silicon to the wall, so it's not gonna wanna come off, but fucking it's gonna just put a towel around it and then I've grabbed it with these fucking Chinese toolie thingies and then. No, Steel, uh, and I've just grabbed it like that and spun it like that. And it's moving. Mm -hmm. It was moving. Move can Yeah, it's moving. So I guess that's a way to do it. Uh -huh. Right, so I got that off. Obviously, I've silicon the fuck out of it, which is always making it a bit hard to turn. Um, I don't really know what I see here. I mean. Might go look at my pile of spares and see how it works, and then presumably spin this nut off somehow using I don't know what spanner maybe. I'm just trying to quickly understand how these things actually work. Um, obviously that threads into the wall, that one, and then we can grab that with. It looks like a 22. It's probably not exactly. It's close to a 22. But, um... I guess if you wind it all the way in without a pipe to seal again, it comes out that way. Like that. Right, okay. Now we get it. So, in other words... You have to pull this brass bit out of the wall first. What do I have to use, like the deepest socket ever, maybe? I mean... No, there's just fouls on that, so... I don't actually... I don't actually know what you get that out with. But I'm gonna guess I haven't taken it out before, because none of my tools fit. So... Maybe extremely deep socket? Or... Oh, fucking crow's foot, actually. Crow's foot's what you want. It's a 21 mil crow's foot, I reckon. Fix tap step fucking 30. We go to the Excel storage location. I think I have crow's feet here. Um, I don't know about 21, though. 19. No. 22? Where did that come from? Ah, it's actually, it's 22 is what I wanted anyway. No, fuck it, whatever. Um, I've never used these for talking about bolts. I only use them for fucking reach and stuff. Alright, we'll, we'll see if this is the... If this is how you undo taps. Nah, it doesn't fit. It fails the same way a spanner does. So, it's going to have to be a deep 22. So I'm not really sure if these are uh, metric or not. I assume they're not, because the 21 impact is on it pretty good, but my other 21 didn't fit. So I guess it's an, uh, maybe a bit mounted, or it's an imperial that's sitting somewhere between 21 and 22. Either way, we'll get it off now, because we can use a real tool on it. Uh, but I'm not going to film it, because it's a bit scary. Just know this socket is not quite deep enough. So what I'm going to do is fully seed it on the nut, and then the tool doesn't click in. I'm just going to really carefully, like, just put that in a little bit of stick and then turn it. Fucking, it's an impact socket. It should be pretty strong. We'll see. 
Yeah, that's correct. There's no dramas. So, take it out now. See how fucked we are. Maybe not. Um, what do we see? I see a collapsed something. I wonder where the blue thing is. I guess that's the seal. Um, the threads are still there. But that blue thing's collapsed, obviously, so... I don't know what it is, but I guess it's a... Maybe a well, I don't know. We're just gonna fucking find out. I don't know. The shoes will just come out. I love using, like, really good, you know... These are, really, these are good tools, but I'm using them wrong and I have no idea what I'm doing. Which makes a good tutorial, I think. This is fucked. I don't know what this is, I'd say. Mm -hmm. A blue thing came out. There's also a black thing. That is what was getting stuck in the shower head. So that's obviously been disintegrating. I don't know what it is, but it probably shouldn't be there. <clears throat> I don't know why half of it's blue though. It's like two seals that are working. Jesus. So that shit mean. I don't know. I think what that actually means is that that's like a fucking Y junction or some shit. I don't think that's a broken fixture. I think that just fucking. I can. I think it goes over that way. Um. So it hasn't been leaking into the wall. Relax. What it has is a series of completely destroyed seals. No, it's pretty gross. I don't really know how to get any more than that out. The clogs the shower head, it clogs the shower head. Um, and this is the final result of what we got. So, that's obviously, I. that's not one of mine, because I don't use those one. I don't use those ones, so that's not one of mine. That's fucked. I just don't know what the arrangement of these seals is meant to be. <laughs> this is one like theirs. Right, okay, so that's that bit. That's probably the exact same part. No, oh, close. So that's one of theirs, but where did these come from then? What is this? So I've got a small ring. I've got a small one and a big one. Like that. And the other quarter of that will be what clogged the shower. Alright, that's what we're going with. So we think this one here had been sitting at the end of this. I'm not really sure if they're supposed to have one of those, to be honest. Um, this one, I'm not sure. I guess it has to have been sitting at the end of the uh, seat, like that. It has to have been sitting there. I don't think that either of those are supposed to be there. My understanding is that this is a assembly, like that. So, I've used the old dick bit, because it's the only one I have that's the right length. Um, I've used a new one of these, because they seem to be the same. And I've used one of these, which is a doused, whatever those are, valve. And then I'm going to put it in and see if it leaks. I've done that up. So. Mm. Not like the idea that it just shits water into the wall if I don't know what I'm doing because uh, I'm not going to learn but uh, we'll skip the we'll skip the thing out for now we'll just put a tap on it quickly I've got none on there yeah. still feels a little bit loose and fucking floppy but okay that feels like a tap that seats to me feels like a tap Mains on. Go. Become water. And then run, 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 run. Okay. That appears to be a tap. Does he do you tap? I wonder. Hmm. I guess I don't want any water in there, do I? The consequence of not really knowing what I'm doing, I'm just going to leave it open. If 
for a little bit and just see what happens because, I mean, it seems like it holds. That seems to be a tap that turns off, but I'm just uneasy about there being two extra seals in there that I can't identify. Um, but at this point, I just don't know what they're for. I could ask my plumber cousin, but I'm probably going to reassemble it no matter what happens. What I have discovered is that the actual tool to do this is the long jaw shifter. That's the one. Deep socket would work if it was deeper, but that's the one to get it with. Now I know. Now that I'm done, I don't think that leaks. I don't know what those extra seals in there are for, but uh, I feel like possibly they weren't supposed to be there. But in my opinion, this is a tap. Um, we're going to put this cover back on. Um, I don't know if... Like, I guess I'm going to have to take some of this shit out and reapply it, which I hate doing. But I can't imagine it will seal with old silicon light. You know, it's, it's got a bond to it, doesn't it? So... Because, like, that's not dripping. That's never not dripped since I've lived in this house. And it doesn't drip now, even though there's two less seals in it, so... I don't know what the fuck those are for, but I think that's a shower. I really don't enjoy anything that involves redoing sealant like this. I don't really know. I just don't like it, but I feel like it has to be done again. I don't think you can reuse that. Like, I think it has the cure in contact with the thing it's sealing. So I'm just going to pull some of it out somehow. So I fucking filled the cunt, obviously. So I don't know what I'm doing. So we'll just not get it on the thread. By not getting it on. Yeah. And we'll just do that. And it doesn't want to go on deep enough. Why not? Hmm. Probably because the old silicon is still there. What if I just tighten it on? Somehow. Alright, so obviously that didn't work at all. Um, that, like, brass one of these was a different depth, so the plastic thread insert snapped. So I haven't got anything to, like, what's the word, positively, positively affix. I haven't got anything to positively affix that to the wall while the silicon seals. Consulted the bolt jar and concluded that um, Toyota suspension bolts don't fit, so. It's going to have to be this. Although this, the thread's not loving it, but it's just going to be what it is. It does go on. It has to. Um, so I put the silicon around it. I want it sitting pretty close. I mean, it's not bad. But what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to use these performance shims to use this thread to drive it into the wall, in theory. I'll give her a plane off, but uh, I mean, it's attached. It's attached. And then I guess I'll just let it cure in that position. And then I'll take the performance shins off and I'll put a tap on. It's a bit of a funny tap in the meantime, though. I've obviously marred the thing a bit, I'm trying to squeeze it, but you know, um, I don't really, I really don't want that leaking, so I just packed a little bit of extra sealant on it. Um, I wasn't paying attention when I went to Bunnings, so I bought grey instead of clear, and it looks grey, but, yeah, it's a tap, isn't it? Stops the water coming out.